Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. How's this sound? No tax on food, medical services, and feminine hygiene products. It'll make a lot of people happy, and that's a proposal from Republican lawmakers to help with Hawaii's high cost of living. Sarah Madison tonight explains how it would work. State Republicans say they are focusing on cost of living. One way to help is by proposing a measure that will exempt certain foods, medical services, and feminine hygiene products from the general excise tax. Representative Lauren Matsumoto says dozens of states already have similar tax exemptions, so it's about time Hawaii does too. When we talk about eliminating the GET on food, that is just your groceries from the supermarket. If you go out to eat at a restaurant, you'll still pay GET in that because it's seen as more of a want versus your groceries really are a basic necessity and a need. We asked how much revenue would be lost if these categories are cut from the GET. There's a really high overestimate of 132 million. The tax department doesn't actually get the specific data on each of those categories. However, something that we always talk about is efficiency in government. And so one of the bills I'm introducing this year is for a financial database. So you're able to see exactly what we're spending things on. And so we're able to cut some of that wasteful spending. So you don't always have to come up with additional taxes to make up the revenue. It's making sure we look where we can tighten up. To review the proposal, go to KJON2.com. Sarah Madison, KJON2 News.